Welcome to Chalk Across America. I'm Doug Miles, and we're here in beautiful Sarasota, Florida. And joining us now, we are welcoming back a man who was with us a few years ago, and he's got another great uh, novel out, part of the uh, Jack Ryan Jr. series, and we're joined today by Mike Maiden. The latest book is called uh, Tom Clancy, Enemy Contact, the Jack Ryan Jr. novel. We're joined by uh, Mike on the telephone, and uh, Mike, good to talk with you again. How you been? I've been great, Doug. Thanks so much for having me back. Yeah, we're just checking the archives. It was uh, a few years ago we had you on. I guess we haven't had you on since you've been doing the uh, the Jack Ryan Jr. novel, so uh, congratulations not only on that, but uh, but all the writing you've done. Uh, you're quite prolific. I'm more lu- I'm lucky is what I am. It's very uh, <laughs> lucky being good. Uh, I'm lucky. Well, this is the third in the series, uh, and again, for people not aware, you kind of took over uh, the, the Tom Clancy uh, stories, the, the Jack Ryan uh, Jr. stories. Tom, of course, passed away a few years ago. You kind of took that over, right? Maybe you want to just give the audience that not aware uh, how that came about. Yeah, sure. Uh, Tom Clancy passed away in 2013 in the estate, thankfully. Uh, when it's continuing legacy in literature, and of course also film and television. Uh, but there was uh, two books that uh, were coming out. Uh, every fall is the big uh, Jack Ryan Sr. book, huge set pieces, and Mark Cameron writes those. Mm-hmm. And uh, But every summer is the smaller book, uh, Jack Ryan Jr. series, and that's what I write. And uh, three years ago, the series editor, Tom Colgan, gave me a call. The greatest uh, day of my literary life, he said, how would you like to join the Jack uh, Ryan Jr. franchise and to be part of the Tom Clancy legacy. Of course, it was I was thrilled. I mean, what an honor! What a what a privilege! Uh, been a, Je- a Tom Clancy fan since uh, Hunt for October. So I hung up the phone and suddenly realized it was also the most terrifying day of my literary life because now I had to write a Jack Ryan Jr. novel. <laughs> um, how do you step into a franchise like that? It was, uh, but hey, uh, sh- shut your mouth. Uh, uh, grip the typewriter with uh, white knuckles and just start typing. <laughs> Somehow we, I got through it. Now, when you take over a, a character like that and, and a storyline, in a sense, or at least the you know the framework, uh, d- does the estate give you any guidelines, or are you kind of free to write it how you like? Well, I, I was told two things when uh, Tom offered me the job, and I because he said these things, I said yes. And the first one was, under no circumstances are you ever to attempt to write like Tom Clancy. Uh, and he was absolutely right, because it's impossible to imitate an original. Uh, Tom was a giant. He invented this genre, and uh, he, he, there's no way to you know do what he did exactly. Uh, but the second thing was so my, that Tom said, Tom Colgan, my editor, he said, uh, write in your own voice and tell the stories you want to tell. So I have complete freedom. And the only analogy I can think of is imagine the, the day before Christmas, and there's a giant toy store. And uh, you're allowed to, uh, you're, you're eight years old, and, and the manager says, the toy store is yours. He locks the door behind you. You're all by yourself. But he whispers <laughs> through the glass, have all the fun you want, whatever you do, don't break anything. So I just don't have to break anything, and I'm okay. Well, that's great. And well, let's talk about this particular book. And uh, again, I don't like to give that too much when I'm, I'm talking uh, about a novel, but a Jack Ryan Jr. He's part of the CIA, and uh, and there's a leak that uh, is going on there, and he's uh, kind of assigned to find out where it is. Is that is that the right way to start it, or you take it from there? Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, you know it's the small book of the uh, of the two books a year. It's o- it's only 468 pages of uh, rapid fire reading or so out. Which my wife says, so that uh, counts. Uh, and it's a, but it's a, it's a pretty big story. It's centered on Jack, but it's a pretty big story. And it really follows uh, Jack Ryan Jr.'s racing across really two continents, uh, battling to keep uh, a deathbed promise to an old friend, but at the same time, uh, not only fighting to save NATO from an ambitious Chinese plot that's centered in Poland, but then also, as you alluded to, thwarting a, a brilliant hacker's murderous assault on America's intelligence community. And that's just the first chapter. That's the first page. <laughs> well, when, yeah. when, when you write a character like this, Sorry, again, yeah. you have to keep track, I guess, of obviously, you know, the previous two books you wrote, and maybe even before that, what the character has done, right? Do you, do you keep a kind of a, a, a log of uh, where the character's been to, to kind of keep... I know the audience, people that read these books, follow that kind of stuff, right? Oh, you better believe it, yeah. And we do definitely keep track of it. Um, I will read Mark Cameron's manuscripts. He reads mine to make sure we're not stepping each other's toes, but the secret weapon we have is is Tom Colgan, the series editor. Um, he's overseen the whole thing for years, and he knows all the nooks and crannies. And so, if we ever are starting to violate something, or you know, maybe it's already been done before, he'll he'll whistle it up if we missed it. 
Uh, we do our very best, though, to you know, make sure we dot our I's and cross our T's, but we've got Tom as a backstop. So um, I think we do a pretty good job of telling original stories and new and fresh stories and trying to move things forward uh, without repeating ourselves. And uh, because before I was ever a Tom Clancy writer, I was a Tom Clancy reader and fan. And it's just, if I have any fear, it's letting the fans down. So I work very, very hard to stay true to the characters, stay true to the franchise, but still tell original and exciting stories. Yeah, that's great. And of course, you have a background yourself, right? Uh, in uh, kind of uh, espionage and knowledge of all that kind of thing, technology as well. So uh, you bring that to the stories, right? Your 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 background. Well, yeah. I mean, I, my background actually is uh, I have a political science uh, degree. Uh, I, I just a bachelor's and master's, and somewhere in there they tossed me a PhD. I'm not sure why. I guess just to get rid of me. <laughs> uh, so. I have a background in research, uh, certainly, in the area of uh, international relations and comparative politics and you know, war theory and all of that. I've always been fascinated since I was a child in military history and technology and uh, bringing those skills and that passion uh, from sort of the academic nonfiction world into the fiction world. And uh, it's actually easy to write the nonfiction stuff, but uh, it's more fun to write the fiction stuff. Yeah. So I'm, I'm having a great time. When you do, uh, again, a story like this where you know, your character, Jack Ryan Jr., is, is traveling all parts of the world, uh, do you get a chance to, to go at any of those places to kind of you know, see what it looks like so you can describe uh, what's going on, or how do you go about it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, certainly, uh, gosh, with Google Maps and Google Earth and all that stuff, you can go virtually anywhere right. these days for the most part. But every time uh, I write a novel, I, 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 try, I travel in those places, or at least the ones I can get to on my schedule. And uh, I'm just a huge, huge fan of uh, Poland and the Polish people. They have a glorious and violent and tragic and amazing history. And that's the passion I want to share in this book. My wife and I traveled to Poland last year. Uh, 2018 was the 100th anniversary of independence. It was awesome to see all the Polish flags and the eagles and the pictures of their heroes. But what shocked me, and it shouldn't have, was there was a, a, a sea of American flags and, and a picture of Woodrow Wilson and Ronald Reagan, but that's because America, as Woodrow Wilson after World War One, said uh, to the world, Poland will be an independent state again. Um, from 1795 to 1918, Poland had disappeared from maps. It had been swallowed up by three other empires. Yeah. And he alone stepped up and said, Poland will be a country again. And the Polish people are the most pro-American in Europe, and they have an amazing history, and I just really wanted to share that in this novel. Yeah, that's great. Well, again, uh, if you uh, like... Uh, pretty good food, by the way, too. That's right. Eh? <laughs> if you like stories of espionage, oh, and of course, gosh, uh, right. Jack Ryan Jr., the character so many people know, even if you've never read one before, you can jump right in, I'm sure. It's a, it's an independent story of the others, but uh, it's that type of thing. You can jump right in and, and, and follow uh, follow his adventures. It's called a Tom Clancy Enemy Contact, and Jack Ryan Jr. now. We've been talking with Mike Maiden today. And uh, Mike, give out your website, if you would. People get more information about the book. Okay. Well, Thanks. Uh, MikeMadden.com uh, sounds like uh, the football player uh, coach or, or the shoes, but spelled with one D. Uh, and of course, anywhere you buy books online or in a bookstore, a local independent or big chains, it's available in audiobook, ebook, uh, uh, hardcover, large print, in any format you want. We got it. Scott Brick is the audio brick reader, and he, I mean, he's just Scott's an amazing reader. And it's a perfect uh, last minute Father's Day gift if you haven't come up with something yet. Great. Mike, pleasure talking to you, and I know you probably have another one in the works, so we'll look forward to uh, chatting with you again down the road, but uh, thanks for being with us today, and good luck with the book. Doug, thank you so much, and thanks for having me on. Thank you for joining us today on Talk Across America. Please visit our website at DougMilesMedia.com for more great interviews and content. And if you're interested in any of the books we talk about on the program, please click the Amazon link on our website. It helps support the podcast. Thanks for listening. We'll see you again real soon here from beautiful Sarasota, Florida. I'm Stan Brock. 30 years ago, I formed Remote Area Medical to help people overseas. 
But then we found generations of families in America isolated by poverty from the health care they need. Together, we can take dental, vision, and medical help to a million adults and their kids right here at home in the United States of America.